Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful scoliosis friends. We are going to be doing a booty workout today and it is going to be burning. If you can't walk properly tomorrow, I am sorry in advance. For this workout, it would be ideal if you have a loop band like this. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can still do this workout without it. It just, you're gonna get more of a burn if you have one of these because it adds a little bit of resistance. Of course, all my workouts are suitable for people with scoliosis or fusion. I want you to keep your scoliosis or fusion in mind throughout the workout, keeping your spine as long as possible and keeping your core engaged. We're gonna sneak in a couple of scoliosis traction elongation exercises in between sets as well to keep the spine feeling nice and long. So today I'm just gonna be jumping straight into it. Remembering this is a glute focused workout. We're gonna be lying down on our backs to get started. So if you do have a band, let's pop it around the knees. We're gonna do two exercises to start and we're gonna repeat it twice. We're just gonna try keep it going without stopping much. The first exercise we're gonna be doing is a glute bridge. So just to go over form real quick, cause that's very important. We really don't want to be feeling anything in our lower back when we're doing this exercise. It is a hip dominant movement, which means you're doing all the movement from your hip joint here. So you push your hips up, you squeeze your glutes. You want these muscles to turn on and do the work. And you want to squeeze your tummy muscles, not letting your rib cage flare. If your hip thrust or your glute bridge looks like this, you're going to get lower back pain. You have to keep your tummy tight ribs tucked in and ribs in line with your pelvis. You squeeze your glutes and you lower back down, tap the mat, and then you push back up. Feet are roughly shoulder width apart. You can have the toes point out slightly if you feel more comfortable that way. And your knees are driving out into the band. You're not letting the band pull your knees inwards. That's going to help activate your glute medius down the side of your hip a little bit more. But we're focusing mostly on the glute max, which is our big, chunky, beefy glute muscle that we really want to be nice and strong. Not only is it going to help us with our scoliosis, but it also looks good. So we love that for us. We're just going away with these glute bridges. You push up, you squeeze as hard as you can. You release, you push up, pretend there's a hundred dollar bill in your butt cheeks. Squeeze a hundred dollar bill, do not let go of it. Coming up, squeeze and back down. We're going to do four more like this. Then we're going to hold at the top and we're going to do some little pulses with our knees. Good. Hopefully you're starting to feel those glutes wake up, maybe even start to burn a little bit. Next one, hold it up. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze your tummy muscles and go little pulses in and out with your knees. We'll go five, four, three, two, and one. Oof. Okay, well done, well done, well done, everyone. We're gonna come into some clamshells. So for this, you're gonna have your elbow underneath your shoulder. Your feet are in line with your hips, in line with your shoulders, in line with your head. You're not letting yourself sink into any scoliosis curves here. We push through our elbow, we squeeze our tummy muscles. This is really, really engaged and long here. It's so important you're not sinking into your curves. You can take your hand to your hip and we're gonna lift the top knee up away from the bottom. As you're doing this, with your hand on your hip, make sure you're not rotating your hips backwards. We do not want that. So we're gonna keep going here, staying along through the spine. The focus now is our glute medius, this muscle down the side of the hip. Oof. Good, this is where having a band can add that resistance, but you can still be doing this without a band. Just try and focus on your muscle here, getting this muscle to do all of the work. Keep it nice and gentle as well, there's no rush. No rush with the exercise, sometimes the slower you go, the harder it is. Let's get four more, then we're gonna hold at the top and do some little pulses. 
And one more. Hold out the top. And go little pulses up and down. Little pulses, little pulses, little pulses. Three, two, one. Oof. We're going to switch straight over to the other side. So making sure you've got your alignment. Elbow underneath your shoulders, in line with your hip, in line with your feet. Knees are bent. Hand on hip. Don't let yourself sink into any curves. Push yourself up. Squeeze your back. Keep the spine nice and long. And let's go. Lifting that top leg up. Making sure you're not letting that left hip rotate backwards. We do not want that. Focusing all of your energy, all of your attention on this top glute medius, that hip muscle. Trying to feel that burn, you're squeezing your tummy muscles, keeping length in the spine as much as you can. Not going super duper duper fast. Good, we're almost there. Let's get last four, three, two and one hold it at the top and little pulses little pulses with that top leg squeeze pulse 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 we'll go three two one well done good we're gonna lie straight back down onto our backs we're gonna go around one more time so back to the glute bridges feet roughly shoulder width apart knees drive out into the band squeeze the tummy do not let the rib cage flare and let's go, push the hips up, squeeze the butt. Oof. Remember that $100 bill, you're clenching your glutes really, really hard at the top. You can tap the hips on the way down and then back up. Not letting the ribs flare, not letting your knees come together. If you're wearing your band, fight the band. Do not let the band win. We're going to get five more. You're doing so well that we're going to hold at the top and pulse. Three, two, and one. Hold at the top and then pulse with the knees. The knees go in and out, in and out, in and out. That's it. Working our glutes and glute medius. Five, four, Three, two, one. Oof. Well done. We're going to come straight back into our clamshells. So elbow underneath your shoulder, feet in line with hips, face every try. try we always we like nice straight lines. Okay, we've got scoliosis, we're curvy enough. Let's try and get ourselves in a nice straight line. Hand on the hips. Remember, don't sink into your curves. Keep your core nice and strong, push through your elbow, and let's go, lifting that top knee up, not letting this top hip rotate backwards. That's very important. It doesn't matter if you can't lift that knee up very high. Just going as high as you can. Sending all of your energy to this top leg. Strengthening that glute media is very important, but we're also working our core here. It's kind of like we're in a side plank. Almost there. Last four, three, two, and one. We're going to hold it up and go little pulses, little pulses, up and down, little pulses, up and down. You got this. Fight through the burn. Four, three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's flip it over. One more time. Hand underneath your shoulders. El elbows. Ankles in line with hips. Shoulders. Head. Get your core nice and strong. Spine long. Hand on your hips. Let's go. Last time on the side. We're going to lift that top knee up away from the bottom. That's it. Good. Remember, we're not letting that top hip roll, rotate back. Not letting yourself sink into any curves. Be aware of that. Sending all of your energy to that top muscle. Oof. Almost there. You're doing so well. This is the last one of this set. 
we go five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it at the top. Little pulses up and down. Little pulses, little pulses, little pulses. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Woo, you can give your butt a good well done. <laughs> then, if you've got your band, you're going to be keeping your band around the knees. We're going to be doing another set of two exercises. We're going to be coming onto all fours for our first exercise. So, in your all fours position, we're going to be moving from a fire hydrant into a donkey kick. You might like having the band on for this, you might not. Sometimes I find the band can be a bit annoying, so I do end up taking it off. But you can kind of start with it on the band. You can also, if I'm going with my right leg, sometimes it is nice to drop down onto the left elbow. So just bear that in mind. If you are doing that, just remember, of course, keep your spine really nice and long. Listen to your scoliosis. If it doesn't feel okay, don't do it. So I'm going to go right leg up to the side into a fire hydrant. So we're going to lift that leg up. Try not to tilt and rotate. Try and keep both of your hips squared down to the mat. It's just the knee that lifts up. Then we're going to take this foot backwards. You can flex your toe and drive that knee up. Notice how I'm not sinking into my lower back here. The core is strong like you're in a plank. You're pushing the ground away from you through your hands. If you're on both of your hands, you squeeze the glute. You bring it back. You take it out to the side. And then back. Squeeze the glute out to the side and then back Oof. out to the side and back working glute medius in the fire hydrant glute max in the donkey kick keep squeezing your tummy muscles not letting yourself arch into your lower back because that can cause lower back pain and we do not want that okay we're almost there then we're going to do some pulses in our donkey kick. We'll go three, two, and then one. Hold it back in your donkey kick and go little pulses up and down, little pulses up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. I'm just turning around because the wall is there and I don't know if I have enough space for my fire hydrant. But we've got to do the other leg. So, let's go. That left leg in my case is coming out to the side and then back. Out to the side and back. Keep nice long spine. Don't let yourself arch into your lower back. Keep pushing the ground away from you through your hands like you're in a plank position. You can come down like this on the opposite side if that feels more comfortable. Oof. Out to the side and then back. Out to the side and back. Out to the side and back. We'll do three more. Then we're going to do those pulses. Side and back. Side and back, side and back, Ooh. let's pulse it back, so pulse, 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 five, four, three, two, and one, oh my gosh, well done, from here we can take the band off, if you are wearing a band, and pop it to the side, we're going to obviously come back to that because we've got another set of these, but now we're going to come into a side plank. So in our side plank, it is a variation of a side plank. I'm going to let you know if this is too difficult for you, you can lie down completely flat because we are going to be lifting this leg up and down. So you can do it like this instead. But if you want to come into your side plank position, you have your elbow underneath your shoulder. Your bottom leg is going to be down. So if I'm lying on my right side, my right leg is at the bottom, I'm going to push into my right knee to help lift off the ground. 
And you're gonna stay in that position. So we're working all through our core on this side, of course, not sinking into any scoliosis curves. And then we're gonna pulse this top leg up and down. If you wanna make it more challenging, you can turn your toes so they face down towards the ground. It's gonna activate the glute medius a little bit more. Good, and we'll go in here, squeezing the core. We're gonna get five more. Four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's flip it over to the other side. I'm actually gonna double fold my mat for my elbow because this floor is not very forgiving. So same thing on this side, elbow underneath your shoulder. Again. Please try and get yourself in nice lines. So your ankle is in line with your hip, is in line with your head. We're gonna push through the elbow, we're gonna push through this bottom knee. And we're gonna come up, squeeze the core. And then we're gonna pulse this foot. Oh. That's it, so we're working this glute medius here, but we're also working all through the side of our core here, if you didn't feel that already. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, good, well done my beautiful Scorosis friends. We're gonna do that all one more time. You have got this. I'm gonna have to tie my hair back. It is too hot. Bands, if you have a band, let's do it one more time so band can come just above the knees we're going to come onto all fours we're going to be moving from fire hydrants to donkey donkey kicks actually whilst we're here like i said we were going to be doing let's do a little poppy pose lengthen out the spine tuck our back toes under send the hips back and just give your spine a little bit of length a little bit of love before we finish this last set. Nice big deep breaths into the back of your rib cage. And then coming back up into your all fours position. We'll go three, two, one, fire hydrant, donkey kick. Fire hydrant, donkey kick. Fire hydrant, donkey kick. Good, pushing that ground away from you through your hands. Squeeze your tummy muscles. Don't over arch into your lower back. That's it. You're doing so well. We'll go three, two, and one. Ooh. Good, okay, and pulse. So we're gonna hold that donkey and pulse it back. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna move around and we're gonna go one more time on that other leg. So fire hydrant, donkey kick. Good, that's it. Last time, we're gonna be doing this. Just push it through. Fight through the burn. We came here to get a little bit of a burn today. So let's keep pushing through. Building those nice, strong glutes. Support our beautiful curvy spines. We need it. Good, last. Three, two, and one. Hold it back and pulse. Ooh, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, let's take another puppy pose. Stretch it out, elongate, and then we're going to finish off. in our side plank or lying down on your side. So we can take the bands off if you're wearing your band. Lying onto our side. 
Remember how we like to have nice straight lines. So we can push down into the elbow, push down into the knee and lift off, Oof, core engaged. We're gonna pulse that top leg, bring it up and down, up and down. Remember you can turn the toes down, that's gonna activate that glute medius just a little bit more. Up and down, you got this, working our glutes, but also our core muscles. Oof, always there. We'll go four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Okay, last exercise. Forgot to roll my mat, didn't I? So we're here, coming into position. You got this, last little push. Coming up, and then, oh, lifting that top leg up. Activating that glute medius, squeezing your core, not letting yourself sink into your scoliosis calves. Almost there. We'll go five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, gosh. Well done, my beautiful scoliosis friend. Let's have a little stretch. We have a little stretch and a little elongate for our beautiful spines. So we can lie down onto the backs. We're gonna do a number four stretch. So you can cross your left ankle over your right knee and either hold, hold it here or you can take your hands, lace it around the back of your leg or over your shin. And just stretch out that glute. It's gonna need it. Get some nice, big, deep breaths. Start to bring your breath back to a natural rhythm. Letting your nervous system relax. And then switching sides. Oh, feels real tight on this side today. Big, deep breaths. Almost there. And then we'll finish on a good old puppy pose. One more. Such a nice, easy way to get some length. So we tuck our back toes under, reach the arms out in front, send the hips halfway between your knees and your ankles. Keep the spine really nice and long. The neck stays nice and long. Don't arch into the back. And get some big deep breaths into the back of the body. And then gently coming back up oh good work well done my beautiful scoliosis friend i'm so proud of you for making it through this workout and for showing up for yourself today on the mat to do something good for your body your glutes your scoliosis please remember to like subscribe or comment below if you have any other questions and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye